Hello everyone. Till now we know that the salt is obtained by the acid and bases neutralization. But does this neutralization mean that there is no water in the salt? Let's find out. Now we are going to perform an activity and perhaps the last activity of this chapter. We are going to take some copper sulfate crystals which are blue in color in a test tube. Now we are going to heat this test tube. You see that the crystals have changed its color to colorless. You are also seeing that there are some water vapors on the mouth of the test tube. Now we have to verify our conclusion whether water molecules are present in the salt or not. So we are going to add water again to this dried crystals. You can see that the color has regained that is it has again become a blue color solution. So you can say that the copper sulfate had some water molecules. Now what are these water molecules called? These are called as water of crystallization. Now what is this water of crystallization? This water of crystallization can be defined as a fixed number of water molecules which are present in one formula unit of the salt. Now copper sulfate has five molecules of water as water of crystallization. So its general formula is CuSO4.5H2O. We have another salt which has water of crystallization and it is called as gypsum. Now it has two molecules of water as water of crystallization. It has the formula calcium sulfate.2H2. Now on heating this gypsum at 373 Kelvin, it loses its water molecule to form calcium sulfate hemihydrate. This is called as plaster of Paris. Now this plaster of Paris is used by the doctors for keeping the fractured bones in the right position. Plaster of Paris is also used in making toys, decorative materials and also for making the surfaces smooth. Now we can easily get the gypsum back by adding water to the plaster of Paris. So we can say that it is a two-way process. Heating of gypsum, we get plaster of Paris and on again adding water to plaster of Paris, we get the gypsum back. So this brings us to the end of this chapter. Remember, balance is not something you find, it's something you create. Applying this in chemistry, it is necessary to maintain a balance between acid and bases.